I had um, some possession of hypodermic needle charges. I told him that uh, I was on parole and I couldn't afford a charge. And he said, well, give me your number so I can work with you. He's like, I'll call you later tonight and we'll discuss uh, your charges. You're going to have to come down here and fill out paperwork. I filled out the paperwork. He took pictures of me, like made me turn around. Within probably 10 minutes of the text conversation, it went to just different sexual comments. We'll have sex in my truck and... And I'll make these charges go away. He sent me a picture. What was that picture of? His genitalia. His penis? Yeah. How many times do you think you had warrants and he let you go without locking you up? He's never let me go without giving him hair. He's a narcotic police. He could say, um, I witnessed her buying drugs. You know, that's going to violate my parole. He tried to have that leverage over me. I knew he had that over my head. He's a cop. He has a gun. He has total authority over me. You know, what am I going to do? Life uh, news on that breakdown of what's going on with the Louisville Police Department, which is just one small layer of this story. Devastating enough, though. They interviewed three women who had been abused by one detective. His name is Brian Bailey. Over the course of several years, he was doing this. It's only, again, the beginning of this whole thing. So two internal investigations concluded that Bailey pressured multiple confidential informants into performing sexual acts on him and lied about it to investigators. And that his actions broke the law, obviously. Police and prosecutors have an alleged victim's shirt with Bailey's semen on it, sexually explicit text messages that he sent, proof he coerced informants into having oral sex with him in his police car, and sexual acts in his office. Police also confirmed Bailey lied in sworn testimony. Of course he did. But nearly three years after that investigation began, in February of 20, Bailey has not been criminally charged. Wonder why that is. He did resign from the force in 2021. Maybe that's part of why they're like, well, he left and he's going on to somewhere else to do the same stuff. So what do you want us to do about it? We're just the police. Uh, and he's never been charged, as I point out there. So video from the internal investigation uh, shows officers that were doubting the stories of some of these women that uh, that pointed out what it is this guy was doing. Watch that. Okay, and, and none of that time had ever crossed over into the- No, we never went on dating. She's a 55 year old. Woman. That's that's the allegation, so that's why I have to ask that question. I, I hate to put you in that situation if it's not true, but that is the that is the allegation, and um, she's saying that uh, you were forcing her to perform oral sex in exchange for getting out of trouble. Right. So I have to ask you straight up, and you're saying no, that's never occurred. I, I mean, I'm I'm scared. I, obviously, I don't no no. And she had a shirt with semen on it that she says is yours so she has saved that shirt for quite some time we've sent that to the lab lab comes back that it is bodily fluids so i have a search warrant for your dna today yeah i guess i need to ask for an attorney at this point okay that's that's fine during bailey's interview investigators implied that jane doe might be the one who was lying omar's not going to charge you with anything you know we don't we don't have proof we don't have proof. We just point out how your semen is on a shirt that is associated with this entire crime that was committed. And constantly throughout this interrogation, there was questions asked and niceties exchanged. Hey, um, I mean, you know, we're gonna have to ask for like a sample of, I mean, kind of maybe your DNA. So maybe we can get to the bottom of this. I mean, I, I, I mean just like maybe, I mean, unless you wanna leave. But then again, we don't really know. That guy was the public, what was it? He said the public, uh, uh, um, not interrogation unit, but the uh, uh, like the public integrity unit. Okay, that's his job. Anyway, it goes they settled for 1.8 million dollars. The city paid that 1.8 million to settle this lawsuit, and it was filed by three women who claimed they were coerced into serving as confidential informants and then sexually assaulted again, as we heard. Police, they said, were unable to charge him with un with official misconduct and prostitution, which are misdemeanor misdemeanors, because the one-year statute of limitations for misdemeanor charges ran out during Louisville Metro Police Department's two-year investigation. Sergeant Andrew Meyer of the Professional Standards Unit wrote this in an investigative uh, summary last year. So there's a one year uh, 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 statute of limitations. They took two years to go through the investigation and went, sorry, my bad. Looks like it just uh, ran out. He's not the only one though, you guys. Like I said, this is layered. The city just settled another sexual assault case from two weeks ago. 
A Louisville Metro police officer tied up, kissed and groped a worker at a gas station while he was on duty. Now the city is paying for it as well. Officer Robert Neff pleaded guilty in October of 20 to sexual misconduct and official misconduct for the incidents at a Thornton's gas station. Recently, Metro government reached this $55,000 agreement with the victim, Emery Taylor. Taylor, she was a manager at that store, that gas station, said that Neff came into the gas station where he worked, where she worked, often as officers received free coffee and drinks. And the plastic wrap was just part of the harassment. So this is what he did, he took her to the back, tried to kiss her all the time. And she's like, here, chill, calm down. But the next day, he returned to the gas station and police reports say that he stayed more than two hours while on duty and followed her around the store. Taylor said that Neff admitted to having romantic feelings for her. She told me she was in a relationship and only wanted to be friends. That same day, security footage in the back storage area of that gas station captured two separate incidents where he then groped her. Prosecutors said that he claimed to be faking a search. Again, ask yourself this question, you guys. This police officer, look at this image as I go through this. This police officer in the back area of this gas station, there's her arm. He had her tied up, sat in a chair, and decided to grope her and say, this is just fun, right? And there was a trainee there as well who was looking at this and going, this manager of the store who's being groped and, and assaulted said, this isn't right. What's going on here? Everyone knew, including this guy. But that's just the way things go, right? And just leave and come back the next time because he's getting free coffee and drinks from this gas station. What a way to thank folks for giving you all those perks. Also, he received no jail time, of course, and he quit his job as I pointed out. <sighs> There's one other part about this too. Let's run this other video, you guys, that we saw earlier this year because this is a, a, a constant cycle within this police department. Remember this? This one uh, officer pulled over this couple and he was searching them. And it was a, 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 a female, I think she was the driver or the passenger. I think she was the driver. Pulled out of the car. And again, warning for this because he groped her as well. Do me a favor, bring her back here, okay? This is one time it, it's best to bring her back here okay. because of the traffic on Greenwood, right? All right. He's patting me down. Wait, okay, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. You don't care about checking your head, do you? Yep. Yep. Hey, hey, hold on. Stop, Jesus. stop. Time, time out, time out. Thanks. Go back there. Go back there. So Ma'am, do you have anything on you? No. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Just hang tight right here, okay? Can I just shut my the yeah, door? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can shut the door and let, is that your daughter? So he groped her, put his hands in her pants and threw her underwear as well, under, because um, that's a search. As you can see, it seemed like a bit of a training day type of thing going on. He goes, oh, wait, hold on now, and yeah, yeah. We don't do that until you've been on the force for six months, brother. So of course, uh, that also, that was probably a different, whole different settlement. So I wonder if the people of uh, Louisville and also in Kentucky want to keep paying for these officers to sexually assault uh, folks just openly and, and, and straightforward. Because all you gotta do is quit, move on to the next.